Hello! I'm Luis Pompa, my drag name is Anika Leclerc. I'm 31 years old and my hometown right now is Hallandale Beach in Florida. Anika, she's just a full package. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's a bitch. My drag name, Anika, just because it's weird, because I don't want to be a Mary, I don't want to be a Susan, and Leclerc because it sounds like French. I have a big nose, honey. Just like French people. The drag scene right here is a war zone. You can find a drag queen in every corner and they're ready to cut you with a knife, for real. I fit in just being a hypocrite and I stand out because I have talent. I have been doing this for 10 years actually, but I have a pause in between. I will go with my YouTube channel because I have dozens of people that love me. Out of drag, I'm like really honest. Maybe that's why everybody hates me, probably. I really love all type of drags. Diversity is the best. I did drag for the first time in college and I won a competition that night and since then I never stopped. My character has changed definitely a lot. When I started I looked like shit. Now I look like a queen. The biggest hardship that I faced is when I left my country. So I flew to Ecuador and then I started crossing every single country until I made it to America. I got the best followers ever. They are like RuPaul's Drag Race lovers. How can I define drag like the finest art? You guys want me because you have to have a Cuban bitch in your show for the first time. And I will bring so much drama, fun, energy to the show. Maybe! I'm not gonna say why I'm the next drag superstar. You need to see it for yourself. Bring me in and I'll show you. God makes me perfect and he told me that one day I'll be reigning the show. Peace or I made this outfit honoring my Cuban culture and of course there is a lot of flowers and basically this is what I wear every single day. I create this beautiful look with a sequin fabric, try to make an identical copy to the dress that Christina Aguilera wore at the Liberation Tour. This is a character for my comedy numbers and I bought the clothes but of course I put a lot of stones on it. I made this outfit with a lot of mesh and also a lot of rhinestones. She is fierce, honey. She is a fish. Come on, woman. I really love this dress. I made it very easily. It's just a base with a lot of appliques on top and a lot of rhinestones. The good thing with the avant-garde fashion is that you can create whatever you have in your mind and for me, being a suitcase, it was very important because I need a lot of space. All right, this dress right here, it deserves an standing ovation. It's very difficult to work with this fabric, but it's not impossible. And I added a little touch of Cuban flavor. This is the best style when you have to go shopping in the daytime to the mall and spending a lot of money. Honey, this is realness. I made this outfit with a lot of color because I want to show happiness. She's ready to go to the beach and take the sun, honey. I love beautiful see-through dresses because it's so sexy and so powerful. When I made this dress, I was thinking on a rich woman walking around the mansion, waiting for her husband to come home, playing with her purse. This look is very sexy right here. I made the jacket and it's beautiful, but those boots, I got them from which?
sees this Nash game, please help me welcome your superstars tonight, Christina Aguilera. Hey. Lady Gaga. Hi. And Cardi B. Ew. <laughs> Let's the show begin. Oh, Christina, RuPaul has won so many awards, he's keeping them inside Michelle's blank. Oh my god, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Oh my god, you guys, this tour it has been amazing. So look, DC, honey, I made it myself. This is for the opening of my show. You can actually buy your tickets right now. But anyway, if you remember, you know, let's go back in the time. I have Flapiani. I have Florus. This one, it was in 2012. Do you remember? Oh my God, that was a car crash. Then I have Flopiration this year. Same thing, no sales. But if I have to answer the question, I would say that RuPaul is keeping all the prizes and awards and everything in Michelle's basement because that's the last place where I was putting mine before I start, you know, like winning. So yes, guys, that's the story of my career. I hope that answers your question. Lady Gaga, RuPaul has won so many awards, he's keeping them inside Michelle's blank. You know, there can be a hundred people in the room and 99 of them don't believe in you, but if one does, that's enough for me. That's what we Italians in New York call amico. That's a true amico. So I will go that RuPaul because he won so many awards, he's keeping them in Michelle's classe. Michelle's classe. Absolutely, this is the answer. And one more time, just remember, there can be a hundred people in the room and 99 of them don't believe in you. But if one does, like in this case, Michelle, so then RuPaul can feel proud and be happy about it. Cardi B. RuPaul have won so many awards, he's keeping them inside Michelle's blank. Ow. What are you thinking about? Esto no es la vaina. La vaina tan mala, seri, no. Ew. No. Oh man, I don't know. I'm so happy to be here. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Oh my god, I just have another Grammy moment. <laughs> well, let me tell you something before we go there. I have seen the show. I know how she is. She probably already stole those awards. I think she did. Oh, Te lo juro por esa madrecita mía que está en el cielo, coño. She stole all the awards from RuPaul. I know she did. She stole all the awards. Those awards, RuPaul, let me tell you something. You're not, you ain't gonna find them. You ain't not gonna find them, RuPaul. You ain't gonna find them. They don't exist anymore. Actually, you know right now where all the awards are? In her ass. Because that's where she's taking them right now, inside her ass. Because she just went to the corner, to the pawn shop. She has no money. She's broke. When was the last time she did something successful? In the 90s. She need to get out a little bit of your ass, you know? She need to see the light, honey. Okay. Thank you so much for watching the show. Be safe. Ew. Pick me! Woo! RuPaul, Anika for RuPaul, season 12.